Extrusion. I honestly don't see this type of injury often. Uh, it seems like the vast majority of the dental trauma cases I have treated personally have been intrusions, lateral luxations, or avulsions. Extrusion is when the tooth is partially displaced out of the socket. Because the tooth has been displaced almost out of the socket, there is partial or total separation of the PDL. Very seldom does the tooth ever come straight down. So there will be usually a slight buccal or lingual position alteration as well. So what would make this scenario different than a lateral luxation? Well, the difference is the lateral luxation, it includes a fracture of the buccal or lingual side of the socket wall. With the extrusion, there is no fracture of the alveolar wall. When you test the pulp, expect it to most likely be negative. A lack of response could indicate pulpal necrosis. If the tooth is fully formed, it is less likely for the pulp to maintain vitality. In immature teeth, pulpal revascularization usually occurs. For radiographs, take an occlusal and two periapical exposures from the mesial and distal. Expect to see a widening of the PDL space on radiographs. For treatment, you'll want to reposition the tooth by reinserting it into the socket. Verify final placement with a radiograph and then place a flexible splint for two weeks. Monitor the pulpal condition and if the pulp has not revascularized within three months, complete root canal therapy. For patient instructions and follow-up, refer to the Dental Trauma Guide.